Yeah. I think this is number seven. Uh, sometimes I have to do the counting myself of me being in this franchise, starting at two, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It sounds crazy just to say it, but I keep thinking to myself, I feel like I, I have to be the luckiest human being on earth to have a music career, um, to sell as many albums that I have, to have all these accolades in the music world, but to be a part of this franchise and have so many phenomenal memories and we're not even done yet. And I mean, you know, the fact and the, the thought of this soon coming to a close, I just couldn't be more proud and thankful and honored because I know how many memories that I have to cherish for the rest of my life. And I know that I have a whole new family, um, you know, to share these memories with. And I know I have a whole new family to share these memories with. And the, to know that we're gonna continue to create these memories, whether this franchise moves on or not, is the best gift that I can travel with for the rest of my life. So this barbecue scene, we started at the top of this movie for a very specific reason. I might not be able to tell you that reason right at this moment, but just understand that we always leave you wanting more. Let me just put it that way. What's so special about this particular barbecue scene? There's a lot that I can say, but Rita Morena kind of rings very special in my brain about how the matriarch of the entire family is making her debut and the heart and the love and the energy that you can feel through the screen is gonna be unimaginable. It's going to be unmatched. It's going to be second to none. So if you feel this magic coming through the screen, you can only imagine what we felt sitting right next to her while she was delivering such a powerful acting performance. So myself as Tej, because I'm always behind the computer screen and the technologically advanced individual, I'm so happy when I'm able to get some action. And over the last couple of films, I've been able to get more and more action if you've been noticing. You know, it's martial arts, being able to do some fight scenes to whoop some ass, that's exactly what I'm all about. As a matter of fact, in Fast 8, there was a fight scene that got edited out the movie that one day I'll be able to show everybody. But that being said, Fast 10, I got action, action, action. So it's always fun to do that because I've been practicing behind the scenes on a martial arts called 52 Blocks for about six, seven years now. So I couldn't be more proud. This franchise is aging very well. It's visually stimulating. There's so much heart and love in it. And when we come together as a cast and crew, it just shows people that, you know, everything comes down, all the stuff that we deal with in the real world, it all comes down to love and family. That's what matters the most. I know people joke about family and how much we stress family, but we need family and we need love right now more than ever in the world. So it's okay for us to continue stressing family and stressing love because we have to, a lot of us live vicariously through these characters and we get hope. We get a sense of confidence and a sense of hope just by watching the screen and living vicariously through each other. That's powerful. That's what cinema is supposed to be all about. I heard Vince say it before, this isn't a movie. This is a lifestyle.